might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Or at least I used to be Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and I hope everyone is having a blessed day today. It's beautiful here in Georgia, but it's just a little cool and uh, it's supposed to get up to around 60 something today. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I like these nice days, but I'm sure we still got some more cold weather. <laughs> this is just teasing us. And today we're doing a crock pot meal and uh, we're having this for our dinner meal. And we're having taco potato casserole. And I'm pretty sure this is going to just be delicious, don't you, Kevin? I think so. It's got a lot of ingredients that we both enjoy. Yeah, it's got uh, one pound of ground beef. It's over here in our pan. One small onion, and it's already in our hamburger meat. Two cloves of uh, garlic minced. One can of diced tomatoes with green chilies. One half cup of sour cream one packet of taco seasoning, 10 ounce, ounce, 10 .5 ounces of cheddar cheese soup, two pounds of frozen shredded hash browns, and two and one half cups of shredded cheese. So what couldn't be good about that? <laughs> Great. And um, you cook this on uh, uh, either, if you want it to be done really early. You cook it on high for two hours and if you want to want it for your dinner meal like we are, we're going to cook ours on low for four hours. And so Kevin's fixing to get over here and brown the meat, aren't you Kevin? Yes I am and the only change we made instead of putting shredded hash browns in it, we got the uh, the O'Brien style hash browns that's mm -hmm. got onions and peppers mixed in with it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Right. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started and get the hamburger meat browned and uh, get the onions and garlic sauteed. And uh, then Marie's going to finish the recipe up for us, right? Right. Okay, let me get started on this hamburger meat. Okay, now this hamburger meat was in our freezer and so I have tried to get it thawed out already. And so now I'm going to go ahead and start browning it. And as soon as it browns up just a little bit, I'll go ahead and add the onions to it then. And this is one pound of uh, hamburger meat. Uh, we caught this on sale over at our local Piggly Wiggly store, and we bought several pounds, so we put some of it in the freezer so that whenever we got ready to do recipes, we would have it ready. We really like getting those good meat sounds, don't we, Calvin? Oh, we really do, <laughs> Marie. Especially with the way meat is these days. Okay, the hamburger meat is about half done now. I'm going to go ahead and add the onion to it. Now, Marie, the recipe don't call for any salt and pepper, but I think we should add some salt and pepper to it. What do you think? Uh, yes, and uh, people can leave it out if they are, if they don't, if they're having a health problem. 
Okay, I drained most of the grease off, and now I'm going to add a little bit of garlic to it. And this recipe don't call for a lot of garlic, but I'll go ahead and put a good spoonful in there. Mmm, that sure does smell good, don't it, Marie? It really does. really going to enjoy this this evening. I, I think we will too. Okay, this is, I think this is done enough, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it off, and next I'm going to let Marie start mixing everything together for the uh, casserole. Okay, Calvin has the hamburger meat um, browned, so now I'm going to start assembling my recipe. So, I'm going to put this before I do that, I'm going to spray my crock pot. <laughs> yeah. Some people say that they use the bags, but I'm going to try that. I hadn't tried it in a long time, but I'm going to try it one day. Okay, so I've got that sprayed, so now then I'm going to add this delicious smelling meat and onions into my crock pot. Don't you just really love crock pot meals? You don't have to stay in the kitchen all day. Okay. Some of it got away right there. Okay. So now then, I'm going to use my spoon that Johanna sent me, and um, it'll help me quit making so much racket in the kitchen. Okay, so now I just assemble all of this. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my hash rounds in. I lost a little bit of them there, but that'll be all right. <laughs> okay. So I got them in. I think I'm going to go ahead and get these. My hands are clean because I always wash them right before I come on camera in case y'all were wondering. <laughs> okay, so now then I got them in. So I'm going to put my, this right here is my cheddar cheese soup. Sometimes this soup right here is hard to find in the stores. A lot of things are these days. <laughs> okay. All right, I got that out. I see over here Calvin forgot his coffee. He hadn't drunk a bit of it, and it's sitting over here. Okay, so now then I'm going to put in my Rotel tomatoes, juice and all. I can still make a little racket. <laughs> okay. Now then, let's put in our... Uh, Let's go ahead and put in our taco seasoning. I should have sprinkled this over my hamburger meat before I added all this in, but it's all going to be stirred up so it don't matter. Okay, I got that in. So now our sour cream. The wind's blowing real hard outside, Marie. Yeah, I heard something that sound like it hit the house. Well, it's not long to March, so I guess March is getting stirred up early. <laughs> All right, now then, I didn't open this up before. I usually like to do all that stuff before, so it's not so hard. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and stir this just a little bit before I put that sour cream in. I 
I'm trying to get all of this cheese soap incorporated everywhere. Okay. Hopefully that stirred up good. And so I'm going to have to get a spoon. And I'm going to put about a half a cup of sour cream in this. That looks like about a half a cup. Okay, so, and also I got to put my cheese in. And it's calls for two and a half cups, and so this is what we got, and so this is what we're putting in. We think it's about two and a half cups. Okay, so the hardest part of this recipe is the stirring. <laughs> Okay, we found this recipe and we thought it was interesting and we wanted to give it a try. And we'll give you our honest opinion when it's done. We wouldn't want to steer you wrong. <laughs> okay, let me get this out. Okay, so I'm going to turn my crock pot on to uh, low and cook it four hours and then we'll be back. All right, our crock pot meal is just finished cooking. It's been cooking for four hours on low. And I'm ready to eat. <laughs> This just came out of the crock pot and it's really hot. <laughs> so, okay, here it goes. Mm. Mm. That's really delicious. I can taste the sour cream in it and the hotness of the rotel tomatoes. And um, the cheese in it, it's really delicious. So now then, I made my green beans and I'm going to see how they taste. Mm. They're really good too. Um, the only thing I didn't do was put an onion in it and um, I forgot to. <laughs> but they taste really good even without the onion. So I guess I'm going to close this video out right now so that I can go eat this easy, budget-friendly, economical meal. And um, 
I think that if y'all make it, that y'all enjoy it too. So I'm going to close it out. And so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing pavement on my own Cause you're here to stay every night